Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So I made a video a few months ago about Jameis Winston calling him trash and saying that he's basically a high-tier backup. And I took a lot of unexpected backlash in the comment section because I thought everybody agreed, non-verbally, that Jameis Winston is a little bit trash, if not all the way trash, you feel me? But it doesn't matter because we are now four weeks into free agency and Jameis Winston is homeless, bruh. Dude ain't getting no type of love on the block. And were there any starting jobs out there for Jameis Winston? Yeah. Teams just decide to look the other way. For instance, the Bears, they traded for Nick Foles. The Titans, they re-signed Ryan Tannehill. The Panthers, they signed Teddy Bridgewater. And the Colts signed Phillip Rivers. Then you got the Chargers line saying that Tyrod Taylor's their guy. And the Patriots, they just flat out don't want any parts because... Right now, they do not have a reliable quarterback on the roster. So technically, the only available starting jobs right now are the Dolphins and the Bengals. And you might as well just say those aren't even available because they are about to draft somebody in the draft. So as we sit here in week four of free agency, it's no surprise to me that Jameis Winston is without a starting job. In my opinion, reality kicked in because I understand that, yeah, he threw... 33 touchdowns, he led the league in passing yards to 5,000 something yards, and he broke some little records. But in reality, that did not really help out his stock going to free agency because he still finished the season with the same red flags he's been having for the past five years. The dude is a consistent turnover machine. It doesn't matter if you keep pulling up pro football focus, making excuses for his interceptions, and talk about how secretly good he was. The dude is always throwing, you know, head scratching turnovers, his decision making is bad, and he's just inconsistent as a quarterback. So this is why he is an unattractive option on the market. When you look at the options that teams have taken that need a quarterback, those routes that the teams have taken make more sense than signing Jameis Winston. Because think about it. If I'm the Bears, why would I bring in Jameis Winston when I already got Mr. Trubisky that be on that foolery? If I'm the Titans, if I just made to the AFC Championship with Ryan Tannehill, who has proven that he knows how to manage a game and step up when needed besides that Chiefs game, I'm going to bring back Ryan Tannehill. The Panthers, even though Jameis Winston may be better than Teddy Bridgewater to some people, you know, Teddy Bridgewater is going to manage the game and Teddy Bridgewater is not going to turn the ball over. And then the Colts, yeah, Phillip Rivers turned into Stevie last year and stuff like that, but... If I got to choose between two quarterbacks that's going to mess up, I'm going to go on ahead and pick Rivers off of the experience, bro. You feel me? So then you look at the teams like the Dolphins, the Bengals, and the Chargers. All three of those teams have a top 10 pick this year. Why would I bring in Jameis Winston when I already know I don't want him to be my starter for the future? Plus the Chargers, they already got Tyrod Taylor as a bridge quarterback, so it really doesn't make sense. And in the Patriots, we all can agree that, you know, Jameis Winston ain't their cup of tea. So this is why Jameis Winston is still on the market. This is why he's not going to be a starter this year. And to keep it real with y'all, the only team that was going to be willing to give Jameis Winston a starting job next season would have been the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But that would have been by default because Bruce Arians already has made it clear that he did not want Jameis Winston to be the starting quarterback anymore. That's why they went out there and pursued Tom Brady. So, as far as Jameis Winston's future, it's looking like he's going to be a backup quarterback until further notice. He's going to get signed, but I just don't know when. But, if Jameis Winston wants to prove that he can be a starting quarterback once again in this league, he needs to go to the right situation. And in my opinion, the right situation for Jameis Winston right now will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Think about it. The Steelers know that Big Ben is on his way out soon, and they have been trying to prepare for this moment for the past few years. But they have failed at developing quarterbacks to be able to step in once Big Ben is done, or even when Big Ben is hurt, you feel me? So, Jameis Winston, I feel like this would be a good situation for him because he can step in, be a sponge to everybody on the coaching staff, and he could be a sponge to Big Ben until Big Ben is done. Once Big Ben is done, or if Big Ben gets hurt, Jameis Winston can step in and show that he is a starting quarterback in the NFL, and that gives the Pittsburgh Steelers confidence to keep him around and be their starting quarterback once Big Ben is retired. So that's, that's just one of the options I feel like is well for Jameis Winston. I'm pretty sure there's a few more like the Saints and stuff like that, but this is just a more realistic option simply because I feel like Jameis Winston is pretty much a similar quarterback to Big Ben. But that's pretty much all I got to say. As of right now, Jameis Winston is a backup quarterback for whatever team that decides to sign him. But his future, we're going to see how that pans out. 
So let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Jameis Winston. Who do you think would be a good situation for him? Do you think he's trash? Do you think he's good? Let me know it all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got some more content coming soon.